there and welcome to Thursdays with Annette. Thanks for joining me today because I've got my apron on, my oven's preheated to 180 degrees and I'm ready to cook for you. And what are we making today? Well, this recipe is in book four and also in cooking for one or two. So I've gone into this one and it's the creamy tuna bake. I love this one and it's a really good idea for winter lunches. Um, you know, with a bit of salad, you could do it for dinner with veggies, it's no problem. But sometimes you just don't want a sandwich in winter and it's perfect for that and it freezes really well. So you can portion up. But let's talk about last week before we get into the tuna. So last week I did nachos for you, which was just guilt free and fabulous. And you were all very excited about that. But we had three fabulous winners and we have Rosalind Brown. Jenny Peters and Patricia Parkin all get a personally signed copy of book one. You're welcome, ladies. And of course, you can at the very end win and choose whether you want book four or cooking for one or two. You can choose. So, as I said, the oven's preheated to 180 degrees fan force, good to go. Now we need the ingredients, it's really not much to do. Basically, we've got to chop some shallots and mushrooms up and we are good to go. So we want half a cup of shallots. Now you can replace that with onion, uh, diced onion. If you say, oh, I don't have any shallots, onion, no problem. We want two cups of sliced mushrooms. We want now two cans, it's the big can, 425 gram cans of tuna in spring water and I've just drained it and broken them up a little bit because you don't want big chunks of your tuna in the dish. We've got some crushed garlic, we need a teaspoon of that. If you want fresh, you know you can use that. We've got a cup of frozen corn uh, kernels and I've done the pasta ahead because you really, when you want to make this, you need to have the pasta cooked and it's one and a half cups of dried penne, um, no, macaroni um, pasta and so you could use penne if you wanted it's just I like the smaller pasta for a bake so this is what happens to one and a half cups of dry it comes into about four cups which is pretty fabulous we're also going to put in because hello it's tuna bake and I'm really owning the corn here because I love it with tuna we're going to put in as I said the, the corn niblets but we're also going to put a can of creamed corn in as well which gives it a nice sauce we're going to put in some stock powder a couple of teaspoons of the Massel stock powder and on top of it goes some grated cheese but here's the secret to this recipe this is the secret sauce that you have for this recipe it's the grey box and if you look at it uh, maybe Billy can you zoom in on it because this is the new packaging so you may look at it and go I don't know what that is it's a little different to what the older ones are and if you're like me and you have them in there for a while so it's called cheese sauce okay and in the recipe it says two sachets of cheese sauce okay so that's what we want alrighty the other thing that they've done to us I oh, just love how they change things I'm going to chat to you while I chop so the other thing that they do is they change the amounts of things. Like you know with the evaporated like milk, they've gone from 375 down to 340. Yeah, why I say, why? Well, we know why because they're getting it from the um, other side of the world. In Mexico, I think it is. Yeah. Um, but what they've done with the uh, cream corn, it used to be a 310 gram can. Now it's a 410 gram can. I give up people, but I'm going to put the whole can in because what would you do with the spare 100 grams of cream corn? I'm not sure. So let's not waste it. Let's chuck it in. Let's see how it works. I think it'll be fine. All right, so we want half a cup of shallots. Let's get my little measure. So thanks for joining me. If you're just tuning in, you're a little bit late, but that's okay. We've just started. You haven't missed too much, and I've just chopped the shallots. So it's the creamy tuna bake on the menu today. So there's my shallots done. Perfect. Next, we're going to chop up the mushies. So I'm going to use this bigger cup here because I want two cups. And it's just basically thin slices. Don't be doing big chunks. You want just thin slices because that way they'll cook better in the oven. 
And if you're not a mushroom person, then look, you know, you could swap it for uh, maybe leeks uh, or other vegetables, capsicum, celery. You could do different things like that. No worries. But if, if you do like mushrooms, then stick to the recipe. It's fabulous. Why? Because I wrote it. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> All right, we want two cups. And of course, with mushrooms, they shrink right down, don't they? I reckon we can do a couple more. And basically, that's all we have to do in the prep. Because I've grated the cheese. There we go. Perfect. And we don't need that. Let's put that over there. My chopping is done. So over to my soapy sink I go. And what we're going to do is we're going to start cooking. I know. So let's turn it on. I've got, I'm using a wok today because I like to be able to toss all the pasta around. So unless you've got a, like a big um, fry pan, uh, well, you could use that as well. We're going to use, because I'm using the, the Neoflam um, Fabulous Wok, I'm using the rice bran spray because that's the one you use on good quality cookware. Give it a good coat. And we're going to put in the uh, garlic. Where's a teaspoon of garlic? Oh, I've got the sizzle going. And then we're just going to put in the mushrooms and the shallots that I've just done. So to prepare ahead for today, what I did was I grated the cheese. Remember, the cheese is um, half a cup of the low fat cheese and we're just going to toss this for a couple of minutes and I did drain the tuna so that was just a little bit of early prep. This is the dish that we're going to use so we're going to use the lasagna dish I find that really good but remember it is in the cooking for one or two. Now this serves six, freezes really well but if you're just overwhelmed with six serves, then you go to the cooking one or two and I make two serves with it. Isn't that fabulous? Now the key is, let's talk tuna. Oh yes, I have something to tell you, so take note. <laughs> now in the recipe it says tuna in spring water. Why do you say that, Annette? Well, because it's so low in fat. So I did a check on it and if I... You know how you might go, oh, and it, I've got oil, tuna in oil, can, whatever, it'll be fine. Well, one moment, please. Because two cans of that, if you swap that for tuna in oil per serve, you would have to add an extra 20 grams of fat. I know. So now spring water's looking good to you? I hope. Now, per serve... This is um, 6.5 grams of fat. So if you did it with oil, it's going to be 26.5 grams of fat a serve. Crazy stuff. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil the kettle. I did it before we started. And we're going to mix up the cheese sauces. I've got a whisk. That's there, ready to go. Put in the corn, the frozen corn. You could use fresh corn if you, were, you know, can be bothered to cut it off the cob because it's always a bit fabulous when you do that. I might turn this down a little bit. And my kettle, thank you. I want, because it's two packets, you want one and a half cups. Look at the recipe, it says one and a half cups of boiling water with the two sachets so in that goes and you whisk it it's important you use the boiling water because it cooks it now we're going to put in while well, that's going to sit there for a minute the corn so this is the cream corn and remember i um i'm actually adding the whole can because I'm not going to waste that 100 grams. 
I've got lots of bake recipes in all my books, you know. I love bakes. I think they're just so tasty. And now we're going to put in the tuna in, what is it? Yes, spring water. That's right. Oh, yay. Now, as I said, this is enough for six. Oh, gosh, it smells so good. Let's put the stock powder in. We want two teaspoons. There we go. One, two. I mean, I don't know. This is a bit easy, isn't it? There's not a lot. As I said, all you have to do is chop up the mushrooms and the um, shallots. And now we put in the sauce. Let me get my little scraper. Thanks for joining me. You know, I suppose you know that Tuesdays is finished now. So I'll be here every Thursday. So you'll have me once a week coming to you live. And of course, you can always watch it uh, during the week later if you wish. Um, I've got a project that I've started. You'll find out all about it in next month's newsletter. So if you're not signed up for my free monthly newsletter, go into the website simplytogood.com.au and you'll see it on the homepage. Oh gosh, look at this, Billy. Yum. Now we're going to add in the pasta. There we go. So this is a meal fit for a queen and a king. You know, people go, tuna, oh please. Tuna, what an economical, is that the right word, economical? Um, way to serve six people's dinner. Yes? So now in the cooking for one or two, Bill's just reminding me, the recipe is a little different, okay? So just check it out in the book because it doesn't have the cheese sauce in it. It has a different product. There we go. Look at that. Yum. Woohoo. Now, you know what the thing about tuna is that I really love as well? It is really, really good for you. Look, studies have shown that if you have more omega-3s in your diet, it's associated with reducing the rates of cardiovascular disease, including heart attacks. So this is called eat yourself healthy as well as eat your health slim, isn't it? All right. Yay. Let's move it over because now we're going to pour it. I know I'm a messy cook. I can't help myself. So let's pour it in. So as you can see, you need the lasagna dish. Oh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? And it's really tasty. Like it's banging with flavour. Spread it out. Now, my oven's preheated to 180 degrees fan forced. And I'm going to actually give you a little tip in a minute if you wanted it even easier than this. All right, cheese, low-fat cheese. I always freshly grate it because I find I get more out of it and it melts better than the pre-grated. Uh, pre That's just my thing. Oh, yes. Remember, you can swap the tuna over and do, do chicken. And I'll read you about that in a minute in the oven. Let me open my door. It's going to go in for 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. 30 minutes on 180 degrees. If you might need another five minutes, then give it to it because you want the, um, the top to be a little bit brown. But let me just tell you something. So in here I've got the variations. So if you're thinking the chicken might be good because you're not a tuna person, then what it says here is you replace the tuna with 500 grams of skinless chicken breast diced. You coat the fry pan with the cooking spray, cook the chicken, and you add it in when you've put it just before the pasta goes in. Okay? Now, the other variation, and this is if you really want to be lazy tonight, you omit baking it in the oven, right? Cook it so it's hot, like I've just done. You put the cheese on, you bung it under the gorilla. Brown and melt the cheese and serve it. You can do it that way if you want. I like baking it because it really holds the pasta a bit better. But let me show you, because I've done 
one ahead. I actually made the cooking for a two. Let me show you the dish that it came out of. So here it is, because I've taken one out. So you can see this is for two. So I've cut it down the middle, so these little containers are fantastic. And here it is. There it is. Creamy tuna bake. It's out of book four and also cooking for a two. I mean, who knew wellness could be so deliciously healthy because this is a fabulous one. Now, if you would want to win the book, you can choose book four, cooking one two, up to you. What are you going to do? You have to like, share, and then in the comments, you know what you've got to do on a Thursday because this is the only show we're going to be doing from now on. Hashtag simply too good. Remember, it's the Y and the two. If you did S-I-M, I can't pick you. So you've got to do hashtag simply too good and then hopefully you'll be a winner. So what am I making next Thursday? Well, I'm on the bake theme because I do love a bake and it's going to be the quick and easy potato bake and that's out of book six. So that's the big book. It's fabulous. Um, so just remember, I won't be in on Tuesday. And please, if you're still thinking about joining my mentoring program, we only started this week. It's not too late. Go to simplytogood.com.au forward slash membership. Boom. Sign up and let me help you be the slim, fabulous, healthy you that you want to be. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.